from the Florida CME Group here in Chicago. I'm Killer from Treasury Curve. Treasury Curve is an institutional money market portal. We assist firms in their overnight cash management. Things are starting to heat up in Cairo, Egypt, folks. We see this. It's sensational to see this play-by-play -play over there. You know, there's gunfire. There's pro-Mubarak, anti-Mubarak. There's all types of moving parts over there. And I really don't think anything is too market sensitive until the Suez Canal gets seized, shut down, or delayed. We have a lot of oil. We actually have some liquid natural gas flowing through that canal. And I think that is going to be the point, the fulcrum that stops and makes the market wake up and realize what's going on. Yet, that has not happened yet. So we'll see. Does it contain? Does it move on? Saudi Arabia, you know, there's a lot of talk over there that people, you know, 60% of that population over there are under the age of 30. So that kind of produces some volatility that we may see here in the markets. Uh, you know, the EU this morning, Chiché spoke, kept rates unchanged at 1%. Chiché said there is no euro crisis. I think the European currency ticker would uh, beg to differ with that this morning. But the thing I really want to talk about today is, you know, the Committee of Bond Dealers. These are the advisors to the U.S. Treasury. They had their big meeting yesterday. And despite the fact that back in, you know, 2000, we switched the 30-year benchmark to the 10-year benchmark, they actually stopped issuance of the, on October 31st, 2001, they stopped issuance of the 30-year bond, reinstated in 2009 due to the fact that they, they needed some cheap money. But now, this committee of dealers, these advisors to the U.S. Treasury are recommending a 40, a 50, and hold on, I hope you're sitting down, a 100-year bond. That would be re remarkable. Let me know your thoughts on this. This is a huge policy change in the event this issue it happens. Get me at the killer on my Twitter or comment here on this video. I appreciate the comments. We've had some great banter back and forth, and I thank you for that. You know, I want to drill down a little bit here in the treasuries. You know, the treasuries are getting absolutely pounded. You're seeing this just crush across the curve, all because of inflation concerns, as well as the European countries talking about tightening. And then I'll see we have QE3 on the table. So we'll see how this all pans out, but there are a lot of moving parts. They tag some new lows here in the 30 year, but they have not touched the 30 year low in December of 118.21. They did get through last month's unemployment low of 119.20. So we'll see how that kind of works out. Obviously unemployment is going to be a big number we're looking towards. Uh, the S&P, you know, I tweeted this morning that it had a killer pivot of 12.94. You know, weekly pivot is way down at 12.80 and a quarter, and the monthly pivot is just under that at 12.79.50. Are we going to get there? We'll see. We got under that pivot, came back, and now we're testing that level. You know, I think we found some resistance this morning on the open at 113.01, and I think we're really looking to the Middle East here, folks. There's a lot of issues. We haven't really seen the reaction to the gunfire and the Malakoff cocktails that have been produced in the last 24 hours, but we are keeping an eye on it. But watch the Suez Canal situation. That is the catalyst for the S&P and all the equities across the board to come off and correct. Uh, the euro currency, can I say timber? You know, we've been talking about this overbought, over-exaggerated move up, and a lot has been attributed to the HFT, the High Frequency Trading Systems. Well, I tweeted yesterday at 137.60, you know, the hedgies, the hedge fund world, they get nervous about that. Underneath that 137.60, there was a chance of retracement, and we've seen it, folks. A sensational move to the downside, 136, and we're knocking on 135.70 with the 100 day underneath at 134.92. No one would have believed me if I put out that 100 day yesterday, but we are seeing some fun movement in there. You're seeing that HFT action in there, some great volume, kind of confirms this move. So we'll see if it tests that 100 day, or is this kind of a one day situation of hedge funds realigning their books. You know, I think we got a lot to look at tomorrow with unemployment. Let me know what your thoughts are, but these markets are moving, folks. From the floor of the CME Group, I'm the killer. Be the hammer, not the nail.